Part uh, at 15. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. Yes, uh, one in four pregnancies end in miscarriage or stillbirth or loss early in an infant's life. And many keep the pain to themselves, which makes them feel even more alone. That's why the Deveni family wanted to share their story. Bill and Andrea were thrilled when Kaylee was born on May 20th of 2016. The following year, they found out they were expecting again, this time with a little boy, due in June of 2018. Andrea had terrible morning sickness this time around, and her blood pressure was climbing. On Mother's Day, she woke up with abdominal pains. She called the doctor and monitored them until they became too much to bear. Her husband, Bill, then took her to the hospital, and doctors couldn't find the baby's heartbeat. Andrea was bleeding into her abdomen, prompting immediate surgery. They were able to hold their son, and they named him Anthony. And behind us here, first of all, welcome to Andrea and Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we put a rainbow behind us here because they later went on to have another child, and mm -hmm. the, they call that your rainbow baby. Yes. Right? Nora. Yes. That's Nora. Nora, mm -hmm. Nora yeah. the rainbow and baby. Look at Nora yeah. wrapped in a rainbow. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Now, is, is that a common term? Yeah, yeah, so after um, you lose a child, that's mm -hmm. kind of, and then you go on to have another pregnancy, um, some people feel that they can actually name their daughter, like their child after a rainbow, because that's just like, after darkness, you go into light, and that's their rainbow. So do you mm -hmm. think of him every time you see a rainbow? I do. Oh, yeah. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then just even here, how it all happened on Mother's Day. It did. For you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mother's Day is extremely hard for me. Yeah. Um, I know that first year, it was kind of sad. I just wanted to be by myself. And I actually went to Kohl's just to shop. And then randomly, this one little boy walked up to me and said, Happy Mother's Day. And I took that as a sign that that was from Anthony. Sure. And I was just shocked because I'm just like, this random little boy just came and found me. I don't wow. know why he picked me, but he did. There's no so. question Anthony is speaking through him mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. say you know, he's probably yeah. OK and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. What's the little bear about? So the, the outfit the, the bear is wearing is the outfit Anthony was supposed to supposed to wear, mm -hmm. supposed to come home in. Um, the the bear itself was in a, a care package that the the hospital gave us after we lost Anthony. Um, so when we take family photos and and things like that, and we you know have the bear in the photos sure. as a way to, to make sure Anthony with Anthony's you. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you explain it to Kaylee, who was now what six? She's six years She's old six. now. And then Nora mm -hmm. would be Rainbow Baby. She, yeah. She three. just turned she three. Just turned three. Mm -hmm. Do they understand what happened to their um, brother? So Kaylee, now that she's older, she understands more. Um, we always have our pictures of Anthony around our house, and we talk about him like he is with us. Huh. Um, so family. we're making it natural for her to actually express. Um, interest in her brother and she does come up to us and say you know what I miss Anthony today and it's oh. like honey we do too we miss him every day and it's okay to talk about it and it's okay to cry. Do you and celebrate that, his birthday? Yes we oh, do. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, and that's we the do. thing talking about it because we mm -hmm. say this happens to a lot of families mm -hmm. but people don't talk about it. Do you think mm -hmm. You know, they feel one uncomfortable talking about it. Do you think that they don't want to bring up something mm -hmm. that's sad? like? Why do you think that is? Um, I feel like they're uncomfortable mm -hmm. because we're uncomfortable, and I feel like that's kind of natural. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and it. People have told me, you know, they didn't want to bring up Anthony because they didn't want to remind me. They thought, you know, we were having a good day, but I, I, I think about my son every day. There, there's no way you could mention him that, you know, I had forgotten. Wow. So you mm -hmm. want people yeah. to, yes. to acknowledge him, acknowledge yeah. his life. Yeah, and yeah. some family and friends do text us, happy birthday, Anthony, mm -hmm. we're thinking about him today. Um, that means so much to us. Mm -hmm. So that, it is okay to bring it up? Yes, yes. for us, it's for definitely, us. and a lot of the um, parents in the support group that we attend, yeah. we want to talk about our children. What we're is talking that about Unite. Right? Is that so, Unite? Yes, so okay. that's Unite. So Unite is a small local nonprofit um, that they do peer-to-peer -peer support groups for parents who have lost um, children due to miscarriage, infant loss and so stillbirth. You get together in a, a central location? Yes. Is that Laurel? 
No, uh, Unite. Unite, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unite support. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and what is it? It's just also talking, doing the talking yeah. that's mm -hmm. not being done. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a, a facilitator, you know, usually a, a nurse or someone who's been trained, and then it's, it's just the parents talking about their children, you know, and mm -hmm. sharing their their stories. Mm -hmm. And how hopeful yeah. do you think it's been? To, to have us, that it was so hopeful for the, the first group that we went to is extremely difficult because we don't know anybody walking in and we're overly emotional already. So then you're going in and you're reliving that trauma that you just went through of losing your child. And then you start crying and yeah. nobody cares. Nobody cares that you're crying because they've all gone through they've the same through. exact thing. Um, so over time, we've gone back many, many times and we still go now. Um, and we've made friends, we laugh, we cry, um, we remember our children. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing this walk too. W when is that? It's so Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. Sunday yeah. October, uh, October 16th. 16th. Not this Sunday, uh, the, the 16th. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's at Ridley Creek State Park. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's picnic wow. site number 17. Yep, mm -hmm. from 12 to 3. Mm -hmm. It's so important. Mm -hmm. I mean, it probably brought you a little bit of comfort to be with mm -hmm. other people. Oh, yeah. That's the 100%. Point. It really did. Uh, the first, first, time we went to the, the support group, um, they were the, the first people that asked to see pictures of Anthony. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 You know, every, every parent wants to show off pictures of their kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's not something a lot of people think about mm -hmm. after a loss. Yeah. Right. yeah. Thank you for telling us about it. Well, yes, thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thanks sharing you Anthony with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And please tell Kaylee and Nora we said hello. We will. Well, thank and you. Anthony. Yes, we okay. will. Thank All you. Right. We'll be right back.